What's going on? What's going on? It's your boy Gotham City here with you with another one. I want to thank all the previous and new subscribers for coming out and checking out my last video. I want to thank Retro Alarm Gaming for his shout out and his Halloween video. It was phenomenal. Keep up the good work, brother. Your con your content as well as your subscriber base should pick up. You should be well past me in a few months. So continue the hard work and the good work, sir. Off to the video. I want to talk about number episode number 37 as far as the new track and field cabinet that leaked that was a demo that one of the employees that rk one of sold off for 50 dollars so i want to give you my opinion and i want to give you my feelings my opinion is honestly i it was great to see this cab to basically be made i, I was grateful that the cab was made but honestly i would have loved to had seen it get to the masses there was an incredible games list that came with it. And I know a lot of people would rather have the the, the elite titles like Team NT, X-Men, um, Turtles in Time, you know, Cadillacs and Dinosaurs, Sunset Riders, X-Men, things like that. But unfortunately, they gave a different games list. And I think the games list would have been perfectly fine. And being that this is a new Konami, Konami has a huge library. We should be grateful that this library is available to the masses and for us to get something totally different would have been it would have probably rejuvenated rk one up as far as sales brought in back some new brought back old fanboys in the space but bring in new customer base to the space so for us not to see this cab at all and then to actually see it be sold off for 50 dollars with only the track and field, the marquee game on it, it is highly. I'm highly upset that we never got the the cat. I mean, me honestly, I would have purchased the cat. Um, yes, it's in a three quarter scale, so I think they would have had to figure to bring it back in deluxe or change it up to an XL. Me, I would have rather have the deluxe based on size, but I know the XL would have done really well with a lot of people getting rid of all the three quarter scales with the risers. And now going into the XL or the Deluxe form factor. And me, I would have loved the Deluxe. My feeling is that they dropped the ball, personally honest, not trying to make uh, use of the opportunity to basically put out the cap. I know there were some licenses issues with Nintendo and as well as the, the person that created it. I don't know the systemics behind it. And maybe somebody could elaborate below in the chat. Not in the chat, in the in the comment section, but to not even able to have this cab at Evo or as well at CES to actually promote this cab is, I think it was there was a loss of an opportunity for them. I know Nintendo likes to hold on to their um to their um video games uh to their properties. But I feel like this one would have not hurt them because it's such an old title and no one really messing with it too tough. I think this would have been a great way to build a relationship with Arcade One and Nintendo because I know John D as well as John Baccarat try to get that relationship together. But based on the years and the complaints from the consumer base about the quality of the product, software, hardware issues, buttons, joysticks, you know, internet issues, us. Uh, you know, sound issues, screen issues. It was always something. I think Nintendo was probably turned off. But I feel like if this would have sold well, I think Nintendo would have probably took a chance and got us all their titles. But that just never happened. We are in a crossroads right now that most of the home arcade community has abandoned arcade one up because of the lack of vision for new titles along the way. And based on this title that never came out and sold off of $50, it's a complete disgrace to RK one of as a whole. And I'm not directing it at John D and them. I know they try to do everything, but the new regime that's there, they even try to make this cab uh, a reality to all of us. But now it's still a dream to a bunch of people that definitely want this cab. And the one gentleman that does have this cab, I hope he truly enjoys it. Me, I honestly, I just don't understand where RK one of his vision is at, but they rather throw out Slim K's uh, rehashes and not new titles 
to keep the money flowing. I understand that we're in a recession. We're all going through it. But there are some people that have money saved or have or own their own business or in federal, state, city jobs that are still paying them. Maybe maybe um, some companies they created on their own that still have a cash flow coming in. And paying four or $500 for a cabinet is not going to hurt them. But I feel like if they're trying to bring in new members into the community, this would probably would have been a, a wake up call for something great to come upon horizon. Unfortunately, we're never going to see this cab at all. Uh, it just is never going to happen. So I just wanted to get my two cent on it. I just, me personally, I'm just hurt that I'm never going to be able to play this cab at all. And now I'm just going to have to envision or maybe have to do a buy cap to the extent to get it. But I'm not even going to go through all that. So I just want to thank everybody for coming out and checking out the video. If you have a comment about this video, please, uh, let's get a conversation started. Please post it below. Uh, give me a thumbs up on the way out. I appreciate it. Um, it definitely helps the algorithm so this video can stream to other people I, I know there's some people that don't like this content i just they're hurting my algorithm by this post the video never getting out but i would appreciate everybody giving a thumbs up so we can get a conversation started for this video uh this is your boy gotham city arcade back at you with another one i'm here in midland at work and i just wanted to give a couple minutes for the video but i, I thank everybody for coming out and checking out the video and i appreciate you everybody take care peace